Now this will give me the pi equivalent. So the pi equivalent circuit. What does that mean? Well, if you have this circuit, you have a current going there. The reason they call it the pi, notice it looks like pi in math. That's simple for pi. You have a line on the top and two legs down. That's why it's called the pi equivalent. So to find the equivalent of that, this will be L1, L2, minus m squared, divided by this one minus m, and this one will be L1, L2, minus m squared. The top is always the same for all of them, but this is divided by m, and this is divided by L1 minus m. Again, you may end up with the negative value. So let's take an example. Let's take this one here again. And the same example we just finished doing in the previous video, 30 millihenry. We have a current going in, I sub 1. We have a mutual inductance, if I remember, that's 40 millihenry. This is L1 here. This is L2 here, which is 60 millihenry. And I sub 2 was going in. So I need to find, I'm going to call this LA. I'm going to call this LB. I'm going to call this LC. So LA is equal to L1, L2 minus M squared over L2 minus M. So let's see. L1 is what? Uh, 30 millihenry. L2 is what? 60 millihenry minus 40 squared. Remember, those will be millihenry squared on the top, but in the bottom will be millihenry, so you're still going to end up with millihenry. L2, which is 60 minus L1, I mean minus, minus M. M is what? 40. So let's see what this one is equal to. There's my calculator. Let me just get to its cape here. Looks like I was in equations. Okay. Uh, 30 times 60 minus 40 squared. And we divide that by 60 minus 40, which is 20. I end up with 10 millihenry. Now let's look at the next one. The next one is going to be what? We'll call it LB. The top is going to be the same. 30 times 60 minus 40 squared divided by L1 minus M. Notice it's going to be a negative value here. L1 is 30 minus 40. So the top was 200 divided by negative 10. That's a negative 20. And LC is going to be again 30 times 60 minus 40 squared divided by 40. That's 200 divided by 40. That's a 5 millihenry. So if you want to find the equivalent, the pi equivalent of this one, you're going to replace it with an inductor of the value of 10 millihenry. Another one of 5 millihenry and one here of negative 
that's negative, yeah. 20 millihenry. Again, this is your I sub 1 coming in. I mean, I sub 2. This is your I sub 1 going in. This is still V1. This is still V2. So you can take this and replace it with this. If you have other stuff attached to it here, you attach them here. If you have more stuff here, attach it right there and you solve the problem any way you want to solve it. Now, what about if the current, one of the current does not? So as long as both currents entering the dots or both them leaving the dots, this will give me that. What happens if one of these entering the dots, but for the second one, one was leaving the dot, like the dot is down here. And the answer for that will be this one. So again, if we take the same problem, just change the polarity on it. And this was 30 millihenry. This is L1. This is L2, which is 60 millihenry. And this is the 40 millihenry. The inductance mutual. This is I sub 1. This is I sub 2. This is V2. This is V1. And my dot here was right there. That's the only difference. The dot was down here for this. So the equivalent of that, we know the top didn't change here. So this will be, the top was 200. I'll come back and put the bottom for each one. The top was 200. Now this will be negative M. That's a negative 40. This be 200 over 60 plus 40, which is 100. This is 200 over 30 plus 40, which is 70. So the equivalent value of that will be negative 5 millihenry. All these are milli. This will be what? 2 millihenry. And this will be 20 over 7 millihenry. Again, this is I sub 2 going in. This is I sub 1. This is V1, and this is V2. Again, if you don't want to deal with mutual inductance, that will be the way out. Now I'll stop this video. I like to make them short here so I don't have to cut and paste.